All right, guys, we are here at the local borough of Fresh Mex Cantina, and let's take a look at the menu. Here are some starters that they have available. Queso Blanco, layer dip. That sounds really good. I think we may try the layer dip. Six layer dip. We'll make guacamole, locos nachos, taquitos, jalapeno rellanos. There's some soups and salads. Of course, they're known for their burritos. There's that five pound chihuahua burrito challenge. If you eat this within 30 minutes, your burrito is free and you win a t-shirt of your choice. It includes fresh mix, rice, refried beans, black beans, seasoned beef topped with cilantro, sour cream, guacamole, pico de gallo, lettuce, tomatoes, chili con carne, and Mexican cheese blend. And right up here we have quesadillas and over here they have the world famous fajitas. Grilled chicken, steak, chicken and steak, grilled shrimp, and vegetarian. Over here are tacos, chimichangas, enchiladas, Morisco tacos. <laughs> and on the back side here, we've got mesquite grilled specialties, combinations, drinks, sides, and also desserts. Ooh, they even have Mexican Coca-Cola. They also have mechanical borough rides for five dollars upstairs but you must be 18 or have parental permission tell us about the kids menu what do they have for available options there so they have a hamburger chicken tenders chicken and beef taco cheese nachos chicken and cheese quesadilla quesadilla and macaroni and cheese awesome sounds delicious here's a view of the parkway from here at loco burrow Wonderful weather, wonderful views. Right here, the local borough. And this place is already a win. Look at this, we all have our own individual sauces. Is it good, Henry? All right. So this is fascinating. We have very thin chips. These are almost like the chips you get at Chili, very thin. And over here, it's a thicker tortilla that came along with our six layer cheese dip look at that pico de gallo refried beans sour cream guacamole seasoned beef all right so jennifer's gonna try some of the six layer cheese dip here and we definitely know why we have the thicker chips that came out with this because you need that thicker chip to be able to hold all of those ingredients. Tell us what your thoughts are, Jennifer. This is really good. Um, I really like the salsa here too. And the thin crispy chips are kind of a salsa chip. And then the thicker ones, like you said, are kind of more for like a thicker dip and everything. But both very good and this is really flavorful. There's like tons of flavors within the six layers. There's a lot of great flavors going on. You can tell that they have some house-made fajitas here as well. All right, guys, so I got the fajita chimichanga. Came with some refried beans, Spanish rice, looks like some pico de gallo, ranch, and also some guacamole. Gentry got the macaroni and cheese with fries, and Jennifer loaded up here with the chicken fajitas. Has some very thick cuts of meat. As you can see here, there's also very large peppers. I'm not much of a pepper person, so that falls completely back on me for really not asking to have fewer onions and peppers, or none at all. But I will say these big, thick, well-marinated pieces of chicken are absolutely delicious. Tell us about your chicken fajitas. So these are really fresh fajitas. Um, like Britt was talking about before, um, there's the really thick like onions and peppers. I actually like onions and peppers. Um, they're cooked perfectly. They're uh, just like a tender bite. There's also um, sprigs of cilantro, which I love cilantro. The more the better. Um, and then also, you would, I would never think to put butter on the side for fajitas, but there's melted butter and it's salted and it really complements the vegetables. 
if Huey likes it on his rice, we're splitting the thing it is. Um, they have the charo beans, which I'll show you this. And the rice and everything, so it's a really good mix to have for the fajitas. You get a lot of flavors in there. And the cream of ranch, what do you think about this cream of ranch? I got some on my plate as well. Yeah, um, in a lot of Mexican dishes, um, they use crema on a lot of things, which is kind of like their version of sour cream. It's a little bit thinner, um, but it's seasoned and everything, and it tastes really, really good. So, these fries are magnificent, and this macaroni is very cheesy. Now, tell us about the macaroni. Did they just pour queso over there, or was it melted in? Honestly... You're not really certain. It, it doesn't. It doesn't taste um, like his or anything like cheese dip or anything. Yeah. So, but it's very cheesy. I can tell you that. So it's a unique macaroni. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Henry, how are your fajitas, buddy? They're good. Rice. All right. The rice, the chicken. It's all delicious, right? And your water's good too. Here's our final bill. As you can see, here is our check. Came out to 6224. And you can see the various items that we ordered there. Three waters, one sweet tea. that was the loco burro thank you so much for coming along with us today gentry what was your take on the loco burro so the mac and cheese was really good and everything and it was very unique right yeah it was like a, a white cheddar based mac and cheese how are the fries pretty good awesome and henry's back there taking a nap right now but i can assure you he enjoyed it jennifer what was your take on the loco burro I really liked it. It was um, probably one of my favorite restaurants in Gatlinburg. Um, I really liked the six layer dip. It had all kinds of different flavors. There was taco meat, beans, um, cheese dip, pico de gallo. Uh, I think it had sour cream and uh, really good guacamole. The, if you're a guacamole fan, I definitely recommend this place. Um, it has that good chunks of uh, avocado in there. Not a whole lot of fillers. Um, just really good you know good taste to that uh, the fajitas were really good Henry and I really enjoyed that um, Gentry had some of the chicken from there also um, but everything tasted really good if you've ever been to Papacitos in Texas this was very reminiscent to me um, to Papacitos they had the house-made uh, tortillas they had very large chunks of meat that was just marinated so well. I took my chimichanga and I just took the chicken out and ate it by itself. Honestly, if they just had a chicken breast marinated in whatever marinade they made that in, I could just eat a whole meal uh, just with the chicken alone. The salsa was really good too. Um, each person got their own individual bowl of salsa. Um, the chips were really good um similar to if you like the chips at chilies it was similar to that but better i would say because it was like authentic um mexican but if you like that crispness um with just a light salt um flavor those were really good and it really complemented the salsa the salsa was homemade you can tell um there were chunks of onion and lots of cilantro and as i said before i really like cilantro um, it had garlic and fresh tomatoes you could tell that they make that you know probably themselves i would say and one more positive that i really want to point out is the atmosphere the atmosphere is outstanding it was open aired on the second floor which is where we were eating and we could feel that nice cool breeze come in and it, it was a very hot day today so uh that really just added to the atmosphere and uh, the ambiance and we absolutely loved our 
our meal, uh, every every aspect of it. Great service. Our waiter and was really good. Our waiter too. was very good. Um, he was really really nice, and he smiled the whole time. And I know that he had a lot of tables, um, but he was positive and upbeat the whole time. Smiled at our kids, and um, you know, I just felt like he was really kind also. And uh, he filled up our drinks and made sure that we had everything that we needed at all times. And guys, we thank you so much for coming along with us today to the Loco Borough in downtown Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and we. We cannot wait to see you next time on Every Day is Saturday.